What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And right now, we're going to be jumping into the creation of Ronnie Lott. 97 overall, a total monster. I'm going to tell you guys some really huge pointers about him and why you should probably rage soul any free safety that you have right now. Also, why it kind of looks like we may not get a Sean Taylor. I'm going to go through all of that right now simply because... You know, they made this card so OP, I don't, you know, maybe you get your choice because he's a Redskin, um, you know, with Sean Taylor or whatever, but he's really, really good at the free safety position, so I don't really know. Plus, I might be a little bit biased because I got a 49 on the theme team, and if I had to get Sean Taylor, it would kind of, you know, mess up what I got going there, but, you know, obviously, I got to get Sean Taylor if he's released, so we would keep Ronnie Lott, but he would be a backup. And then we would just have another enforcer with Sean Taylor. But we're going to go over some things with him and kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on and why his stats are the way that they are. Okay, so like I said before earlier, I, I do have a 49er theme team. I got 25 players from the 49ers, which gives me certain boost. And it's going to increase speed, strength, jump, agility, and acceleration for all 49er players. So it's perfect that we get the Ronnie Lott because guess what? Devin McCourty couldn't truck a dead, yo, know, like a dead squirrel, dead goldfish. He couldn't, like the dude is garbage, bruh. L let me just go ahead and point out his hit power real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys if you didn't know. He has a 69 hit power. Now, all right, we're not going to make any lewd jokes or any kind of crazy jokes, but that hit power is garbage. So pretty much what we have to talk about right now is this. What makes Ronnie Lott so good? Why should you go out and get him? All right, look. First of all, for a lot of you guys, you might be able to get rid of whoever you have at free safety and not spend any money to get them. You keep in mind, in another three weeks, you'll be able to get them for free if at that point you still don't want any other of the NFL 100 players that are going to be getting released. So you're going to have time to make up your mind. But I'm going to help you make your mind up right now, and then I'm going to show you what happened in Weekend League with me because I lost four games in Weekend League by a total of 13 points. Okay, because the games came down to, you know, certain uh, ridiculous things that were happening. And, um, you know, with Ronnie Lott being on the squad, we were, the final games I played, we were 8-1. and one. So I played nine games with him. We were 8-1. and one. This dude was savage. I got a gameplay that I really, really want to show you guys. But I don't know if you guys really want to see it. You want to see it? Let me know in the comments. You can just answer however you want. Yes, no, whatever. I'm going to give you guys your option. Uh, but it's a really, really good gameplay. And it kind of shows the way that he attacks the run and also how that 95 zone being next tier with his 95 speed is a game changer. Okay, so look. If you upgrade your Ronnie Lott and you don't have you don't have these same numbers, primarily it's going to be because either you don't have 49ers uh, chem or you don't have Sprinter all the way up with 30 of 30. Or you know the lockdown also adds to the zone and the man coverage. But he overall, the really good thing about him is he starts off in the X factor that is all about stopping the run. So because he gets that, it makes it a little bit more easier for guys like me. Cause like I said, I, I don't I think I've thrown the ball like maybe three times in the last 10 games I played. Like see, like I'm all out with EA with all this foolishness that goes on with these zones and dudes is warping and I've got somebody beat deep, but I really don't got them beat deep. I'm just done with all that. So pretty much what happens is this: you have to be able to counter run plays. So who better to counter a run play than a guy that comes equipped with something that stops runs? He has the reinforcement ken. So what does that mean? And you know, starting off with that, how does that help your team? Let me just go ahead and break this down to you really quickly. Um, he defeats the run blocks and he disrupt catches. It's not even about that, uh, the disrupting of the catches that makes him savage when he starts off the game. It's the fact that you can have him in any kind of zone or man coverage and he attacks the run different than any other player that I've seen in the game. Now, will they nerf him? It's a possibility. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let's look at what his awareness is right now. Uh, tier 7, his awareness is a 90. So it's not, it doesn't even have any, what's his play rec? 90. So it's not even like he's really inclined to have like that crazy number of play rec or, you know, awareness. They just made him pretty much, he's a run stopper and he plays ridiculous zone and he will cause several fumbles in one game. So what happens is, for those of you guys that are Mutt Masters, if you guys are not Mutt Masters, I, you know, this part of the video doesn't apply to you. For those of you guys that are Mutt Masters, let me know in the comments. If you're pretty close to getting Mutt Master, also let me know that as well. But having him and Tillman with Enforcer, it creates a whole different dynamic for your team. So what happened with me was, I didn't want to spend the 800K for him. I'm like, you know what? It, it doesn't, you know, I, I don't know if I want to do that and go dead broke. But then something was telling me like, Let's just give him a try. And I'm very, very glad that I did. And also, by the time that his price goes down, it won't really matter. Keep in mind, I have him, 
and I have Eric Dickerson. So when we get the 93 to 94 overall power pass, one way or another, I'm getting back 700K. You see what I'm saying? Because these two cards are gonna be good enough to go through the month of December. So either way, I'm making my coins back is just right now, I had to actually jump on it and get it done. And I'm very, very happy that I did. All right, so with all of that being said, if you were able to get Ronnie Lott and you got rid of like, let's say Devin McCourty, because a lot of you guys are grinders and you get a lot of trophies and you get, you know, whoever the series master is and you get them auctionable. I got mine Nat, which means I can't sell it. I can't do nothing with it. So right now I just have to have him sit there he will be raid sold once I figure out what I'm doing with him. But for now, he's good to go right there. Like, there's, we're not doing anything with him right now at this moment, okay? But let's get back to Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman have an enforcer. And keep in mind, I don't know when they're gonna give him his next upgrade. They probably won't for a while so that we have to spend money on cards because EA kind of rolls like that. So I don't really know what they're gonna do with it. But just let's, let's just point this out though. With everything that Tillman has, Ronnie Lott overall is an actual better card. Uh, you know, with the way that it's set up, he does everything better than Tillman. So one of two things are gonna happen. Either EA Sports is going to say, you know what? We gotta keep the Mutt Master as the top card in the game. So let's go ahead and upgrade him. Or they're gonna say, let's hold off on the upgrade and let people spend money and keep getting Ronnie Lotts. You see what I'm saying? Like one, one, one way or the other, you know, EA got to win, so it don't really matter. But I'm just letting you understand that. 94 speed, and then Ronnie Lott with 95 speed. And both of these dudes are running around with Enforcer. It's a very, very serious thing that's going on in the field. So now that I've, I showed you guys that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give you guys um, insight into what my weekend league record was. I just recently finished uh, playing my last game. I do have footage, like I said, I just have to edit that uh, video for you guys and get it out. But I'm going to see how many of you guys want to see it. You know, because some of you guys are saying, yo, bro, man, you know, yo, uh, yo, can you give me some more tip vids? And then some of you guys are like, yo, I want that gameplay. So if you guys want the gameplay, let me know. Just write yes in the comments and it's on and pop it. I'll get on it. I'll edit it. You probably get a late night video, whatever. So pretty much what happened is this. Everybody that I lost to, I believe is somewhere in the top 100. Now, realistically speaking, I should have lost one game this week. Um, I did have a couple tough games. Um, you know, you can see my strength of schedule. Like, they, they put me up against all goons. So, you when you play good players in Madden, it's very, very far and few between, but luck is gonna, you know, contribute to both sides. Uh, one of the games that I won on stream was very, very lucky for me. I got a fumble at the end. It was really, really crazy. But a lot of these guys uh, that beat me, it was very, very wild the way that they were able to actually beat me. Um, either way, we are number 10. Uh, that is the highest that we have been. Uh, we could have easily been in the top 10. I don't, you know, probably, you know, other people are going to win and get in there somehow. Um, the highest that we've been, I think, is probably nine. So we still have growth to go um, and try to figure out some stuff. But honestly, like I said, uh, it was like 13 points I lost my four games uh, combined with. So it was a very, very, you know, serious thing that was going on. But it is what it is. We took our L's and now we got to move on and figure out what's going on. But now that we have, you know, Ronnie Lott, I think I'm going to change up the way that I run my defenses. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, let me know uh, in the comments, write Twitter in the comments, because I release a lot of footage of a lot of the blitzes that I run and like certain clips and let you guys see, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm starting to change my game up and things like that. Ronnie Lott adds a different dimension because the way he plays zone, you can actually send more people. I'm just going to give you guys some food, some food for thought, right? And also for those of you guys that keep asking my playbooks, um, I usually show it every now and again in the videos and it's throughout the video. Uh, so if you guys start watching the videos in full, you'll be able to see it. But right now it's the Raiders offense and the Jets defense. So what happens is this, right? There are a lot of different coverages in the game right now with the most recent title update. And the way that you stop the run can vary. You can leave everybody in zone coverage. There's like a nickel, a big nickel defense going around with cover three, where it's a setup where it stops the run overall. Um, it's just weird the way that they do it. Like they're not even blitzing anybody. They just sit in cover three and it stops all the runs. I was able to figure out a run that actually beats that. But in doing that, I figured out a new defense. So what Ronnie Lott does at his position um, of free safety is he opens up the field and the ability to blitz extra people and he covers more ground. Okay, the 95 zone is the tier that goes from 95 to 99. So that being the way that it is, it's easier if you were able to get this card like, you know, the way it is right now. And like I said, you don't have to rush and go crazy with it because either way, it's going to work out for you because if you need a Ronnie Lot, you're going to be able to get one for free. Um, 
All you have to do is make sure you're playing those solos. Now, you've been asking regularly if the, if the solos expire. To my knowledge, and at this point, I haven't seen any news or heard anything to where it says that it is actually going to expire. So I don't think that it will. Uh, but if anything changes, obviously I will let you guys know, uh, at, you know, as soon as possible, just so that you guys don't lose anything. But I would definitely encourage everybody that's watching this video to kind of, you know, make sure you're staying in tune. Uh, the team of the week solos, uh, I mean missions, you know what I mean. All my Madden vets know what I mean. I always say, you know, solos every now and again, but it's challenges and it's missions and what, whatever's going on. It, it is what it is. We all know what it is. So when you go over to the NFL 100, you should have up to right now when you're watching this video, up to week three with release two, make sure you're keeping tabs on this. Very, very important. Any one of these players that are released, you're gonna be able to choose one for free. So, you know, I'm giving you insight to it. I've given you everything that you need um, as far as the creation. Um, you know, I think he's worth it. I think that everything about his card is unique to what helps to control what everybody does now, including myself, which is run the ball like a wild maniac with rabies. So I would encourage you guys to go out there and get what's needed to keep getting better and, um, you know, making sure that you have everything that's needed to kind of counteract what your opponents are doing. So, you know, that's what I have for you guys right now. Definitely leave any questions or comments you may have. You know where you can find me, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitch, all at G Myers World. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day, stay blessed. You better watch out for Ronnie Lott, y'all. One love.